Uh, can we talk relationships for a second? We should. Let's talk relationships. So, um, I know. You well, know, I, how do you have a real? Rela- I think, <laughs> how do I have a uh, real there's relationship? There's about 15 minutes left, so you know, let's um, let, let's um, let's get to the heart of the matter. So, how do you have a relationship? Like, meaning, you know, hey, uh, can't can't go on a date. Got to you know, I'm at work right now. You know, or you know, hey, can't have sex, honey. I got a big day tomorrow. How do you, you know, how do you have a real relationship? I never had a relationship while I was shooting scenes. The mm. whole time I was with my husband, I wasn't shooting scenes. And then when I went back to shooting scenes, I just had a nice casual group of people in my life that I would see, you know, a nice roster of guys that I would hang out with, but they all knew what I did. You had a roster. So just, well, yeah, you know. Respect. You, you know, you There's so many to. guys out there that talk about having a roster. A hotation. Yeah. A hotation. That is so good. Oh, Buy that domain right now. Okay? <laughs> I'm a big hotation. domain buyer. So I haven't done it, um, and I did just try to have my first non-porn relationship post-COVID last mm. year, um, and it lasted for six months. Okay, and I knew him through other people, so I trusted him as a normal person. He had no problem with you know what I do. You know, guys will, but the long and the short of it is. I was suspect that something wasn't right. My best friend was suspect that something wasn't right. Six months in, I find out he's got a live-in girlfriend that oh. he's been with for 12 fucking years. And I'm, they're in an open relationship. Oh, no. no, they are not an open relationship. Damn. He was lying to her. So um, that's how I got the Cartier watch and the love bracelet. Good for because you. I blackmailed him. <laughs> um, I made him give me a large sum of cash. Really? And I went shopping with it, and I made him make a large donation to Planned Parenthood. Good for you. That is the funniest thing I've <laughs> now, ever heard. Now, do you no. feel bad about that, or hell no? Fuck no. Lisa Ann. Here were his choices. I found his girl's socials. And mm. I was just, yeah, you know, I just put on her Insta. Um, I, I just found out we share a boyfriend. You he, said you this. Wrote, you wrote on her page. He steals her phone. What right? was, by the way, what was she? Was she younger? Was she older? Did she do porn? Did she not do nope, porn? She, she was regular, not in the industry. Two regular regular girl. Two regular people. Oh, um, both oh, Jewish. He is to marry gosh. Jewish. You know, he's with this girl. But you obviously, like Jewish guys? Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so guys, it always happens to me this way. So yeah. So, Hello. and this was my first like, wait, if you messaged her, then what kind of leverage did you have over it? He wanted me to delete it. He took her phone, so she thought she lost it for the oh, period of time. Damn. So I mean, like, yeah. sweat it for 24 hours. I mean, everyone we knew was calling, like, giving these negotiation scenarios. Like, what's it going to take for you to delete that post? I'm like, you know, I'm still thinking about it. Like, I still, mm. I want to know what I want. Is a I, post I, or a message? Just a post on her, you know, on her page. On her Instagram, like on yeah. a comment, on yeah, her picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comment. Can oh. you imagine getting, not knowing anything? Dude, and then Lisa Ann commented back. on my picture. <laughs> Oh my! So you know, she's cheating on me. <laughs> I let I let him sweat it that whole first night. And then the next wow. morning with his business partner and everybody, I'm like, all right, listen, this is how much the cash. business partner was weighing in. Yeah, because he was the one that wanted to give me cash because he felt that if I went public with this story, it would hurt their mutual businesses together because wow. I have such girl power in New York City. Wow! And this would give me a bad look, right? Um, and you know what? Uh, I've kept a good rapport with him because I got everything I wanted out of it and I still do get to eat for free at his restaurants and every once in a while I want pizza from one of his restaurants that's too far that delivered to my place and I yeah. make him put it in a fucking Uber and have that's the pizza right. brought to me. To he you owes me life. forever. There's no reason to lie to somebody for six wow. months. Nice. Six, six months. months. How'd he get away with it? Now, have you, you ever went to his place? Get away with it? And you know what? I, I see. This was my first civilian dating experience out of porn after oh, COVID. Oh, that's how we got my away girlfriends with it. taught me after. Like, you've got to go to their place. Yeah. Like, you've got to see how they live. It's Hold just, on, for six months you didn't go to his place? No, because you know what? I love my apartment. And I have somebody <laughs> Lisa, that's me. red flag right there. Yeah, you're asking for it. Lisa, like, you're brilliant. You're smart. You're opinionated. Leave. How I, the hell do you not go there? I don't want to honestly sleep over and I don't want to leave in the city at two o'clock in the morning. It's not safe. Like I was being lazy. I know this oh, now. God. Lisa, you're my dream girl. I was in my <laughs> comfort zone. But gotcha. like the red flags were there. 
but I wasn't paying attention. And mm-hmm. we like would just lay on the couch, drink cocktails, and watch Chopped. Like it was Aww. a great relationship to me. It was at your all house, I, at my house, and he was busy. Where little, you were comfortable. Little did I know he was busy in another relationship. Yes. But the funny thing was, wow. he has the least amount of game of any guy I've ever dated. And Lisa so Ann, I'm when just... everyone found out that I was dating him, that we had kept it a secret from all of our mutual friends, like 30 people that know, they're like, what made you choose him? I'm like, because I just felt like he had no game and that he would probably like never cheat on me. So oh. be like, and they're like, well, do it's you think always he has- the guys with no game. Do you game. think he has game now? I'm like, I was his fucking side piece. Yes, oh. he has but wait, game. But if you had all these mutual friends, nobody told them? So to- told wait you a that yeah. I didn't tell any of them because I didn't want things to be awkward. Oh god! I don't like people in my it's personal the perfect business. Lisa. It's the perfect storm. <laughs> I know. And, and the wow. fact that you never but, went to his place in six months. What was he thinking that you would never? He never even had to come up with an excuse. No, he knew He'll the deal entire with that time. At the time. He, the That's time. Something you deal with so later. what my he people knew. say is it was a ticking time bomb yeah, for him. He, he was just riding the ride until yeah. he yeah. could. Right. Lisa, was he a wealthy guy or good looking guy? Wealthy. Good looking guy. Um, a little bit of both. Very, he's wealthy, successful, but he's a worker. He's not like mm-hmm. second generation money. He's first yeah. generation money, which is important. But I will say this. When I went into Cartier with the cash, it was the best experience ever because we told everybody at Cartier. Actually, one of his partners took me. Um, we go in. And I'm like, I'm going to have this Cartier experience. We dump out these duffel bags of cash. Um, and they're sitting there with their masks on and their gloves. And and I'm like videoing this. And they're all just counting. I'm like, so here's how this goes down. No, like a mafia <laughs> boss right okay. here. And now I'm on the come up. Okay. Yeah. It was a great come up. When is the movie <laughs> being written about your life? Oh, That's what happening. I want to know. I just see her right with her little journal interviewing. Played by Kayla. I, 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 <laughs> 